Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with the smart form. Now we need to call the smart form inside our report. We need to integrate now from the report. We need to call the smart form. Yes. Now, we can never, never call a smart form directly from the program. We all know very, very well, every smart form generates a function module. So, we will call the function module of the smart form inside the program. It is fully, fully explained in the smart form playlist. We can never, never call the smart form directly. We will always, always call the function module of the smart form. Suppose if I will run this smart form, you can see this smart form generated this function module, generated this function module. And this function module is not in our hand. We have not created this function module because name is not starting with Z. If I will display this function module, you can see in the smart form, in the smart form, form interface, you took four input parameters. If I will go to the function module of the smart form, you can see in the function module import tab, we have same to same four parameters are there. So function module is just a replica of our smart form itself. So whatever is in the smart form, it is in function module. And this function module generated at runtime, it is not in our hands at all. So what we will do, we will go to our program and we will call this function module inside our program. So I will go to our program. Now, I will run the program first. What we want, whenever we will give the input and user will click on to the, okay, I'll give the right date. Sorry, I gave the wrong date. Whenever user will click on to this button, we need to display this output in the smart form. We all know these are the button which we created through PF status, PF status. We created our own GUI status and in that GUI status, we have two buttons. Whenever we will click on to these buttons, user is giving a command. So which particular thing will call user command, user command. And we already written the logic. Just we will call the function module. If you see, we have a subroutine for the user command. And whenever user is clicking on to smart forms button, smart form button, what is the value? This particular value, this particular variable value is equal to smart forms. This smart forms is the function code of the button. If you see, we gave the function code smart forms. You can see this is the function code of the smart form. Now we will call the function module of the smart form here. function code of the button. Now we will simply, simply go to pattern button. You all know you can call the function module through the pattern button. So I will copy this function module, the function module of the smartphone and I will pass. Now you can see complete full understanding. Whatever is the input in the smart form, the same will come as export here. 
in the smart form we have four input parameters it means in the function module of the smart form also we have four input parameters whenever we call the function module inside the program import become export export become import have you seen we are getting four parameters are as export now these are the part of our export now from the program we will export the values so that in the function module it will treat as import this is always always our understanding now what is the date value what which variable has that date so what is your date variable s underscore er dat hyphen low hyphen low what is that date value yes for high s underscore er dat hyphen high what is the er num s underscore er num hyphen low now lt underscore output in which internal table you have the data of six column your data is in lt underscore final so from the program we are exporting the values to this function module i will simply simply uncomment the exceptions best practice never never forget to uncomment the exception i'll check the syntax and i will activate now i will just go for more details so that if someone has confusion they can understand we are going for low value of that date suppose simple this is your low value of that date this is your high value of that date this is you are created by just see what is the name for this what is the name of this if i will go for your in i will go for this include you can see what is the select option name for date so that is s underscore er date hyphen low that is s underscore er dat hyphen high this is s underscore er num we only only has the low value and what is the internal table in which internal table you have the data suppose if i will just execute in which internal table you have this data this in this internal table you have the data lt underscore final we are passing all those things to the function module of the smartphone so from the program we are exporting so that in the smart form it will treat as importing just see if i will show you we are passing we want this kind of layout inside the smart form this is our smart form layout so it will display low value high value username value and whatever the data is in this internal table now for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode and then we will proceed further for the next understanding now i will put a break point i will run the report this is our low value high value this is our user name i will go to execute whenever i will click on to this button user command will call i am clicking have you seen i entered into debugging mode i will go to desktop what is r underscore u com it is smart forms because this is the function code of the button see this is the low value this is the high value 23rd august we gave low value 30th august is the high value this is our username r mehta and this is the data we have how many records in the internal table just see four records four records 
and we are passing it to smart form. We are passing it to smart forms. Now for the I now I will do F6. You can see this if condition is true. Now it will call this function module. This is the function module of the smart form. For the best understanding, I will show the or I will put the breakpoint in the smart form also. Suppose I will go to global definition and I will put a breakpoint in smart form also so that you can understand that is yes, our smart form is calling. I will go to initialization. Now it is fully, fully explained in the smart form playlist. I cannot put a breakpoint using red marks here. If you see in the program, in the program, you have a provision to put the breakpoints using red mark. If I will show you the program. In the program, you can put a breakpoint through these red marks, but these are not available in the smart form. So in the smart form, I will write break hyphen point. I will remove this just to show you that it will stop here. Now we are calling the function module of the smart form. Now, whenever I will do F8, it will the, the program will stop in the smart form itself where I put the breakpoint. Yes, whenever I will do F8, F8 means continuous execution. Now I am doing F8. Now I will put the output device. I will go to print preview. You can see that I stopped onto that breakpoint statement. This is the breakpoint I have written in the smart form itself. Now just check what are the parameters inside this smart form. What is the first parameter? This is your parameter. Check. What are the various values? This is the value which we passed from the program. Yes, because from the program you exported. So it means they treated as import here. Now, if I will show you high value. Done 30th August. Now this is our username. Yes. And this is our data. Data of four, data of four rows and six columns. Now we are displaying the data. We created the various templates and table and we are displaying the data. If I will go to execute, you can see we got the output. SO item details. SO creation date from two SO created by this is the value data of how many column one, two, three, four, five, six alignment is not proper. We will make the proper alignment. Yes, we have how many rows four rows. So same to same data we passed to the smart form. We have not written any logic in the smart form. We have written the logic in the program. This is the common mistake from the fresher. So many times they will put the duplicate logic at both the places. No, you have written the logic in the program. So we only, only need to pass. Just see inside the program. If I will go to our program. From the program, we are exporting the values of these four parameters. We are exporting the values P, E, R, that low, high, E, R, num, output. These are our export. If you see in the smart form, they are import and we pass the values and we are displaying those values. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, 
we covered that we can never never call a smart form we always call the function module of the smart form yes and we simply call the function module of the smart form through the pattern button in the user command and inside this if condition because now we need after that we need to go for adobe form also now next part this function module we have not created sap generated this function module which is totally the replica of your smart form itself it generates at run time now in the next video we will come on to the process that we should not hard code this function module because it generates at run time and we are working in real project as of now. So whenever our program will go to quality, it will throw the runtime error. So we will just replace this name. Yes, we will not hard code the name of the function module. This part, we will continue in the next video. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's it in this video.